Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a little trick that I've been using the last uh, little while to find out the torque specs on my trailers. I purchased a snowmobile trailer recently and it's a homemade trailer so I don't know much about what the torque specs are. I wanted to change the tires so I'll show you a little trick that I'm using. So here's my snowmobile trailer tire and as you can see I've taken a sharpie and I've marked a line on my rim but I've also marked a line on my lug not here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen this with a lug wrench or even a breaker bar and uh, we'll see where that line goes okay so now i have loosened my lug and if you notice the line is has moved over a little bit to the left and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take my torque wrench and I'm going to set it at a lower setting and then I'm going to gradually uh, continue to torque this lug nut until the lines meet up again. Okay, here's my torque wrench and as you can see I've got it set at 50 foot-pounds. So I'm just going to put it back on and I am going to give it a little tighten. And when I remove it I can see that 50 foot-pounds has not quite got there. So I am going to adjust it again. I'm now going to try 56 pounds. The lines are still not quite there. So I'll try something different. Okay, now I'm at 60 pounds and uh, we will see where this takes us. Still not quite there. So I'm gonna try 62 pounds as we're getting close. All right, here we are at 62 pounds. Still not quite there yet. I'm gonna go up to 64 next. Okay, 64 pounds. And uh, that is very close. I think I can try 65 and I might be good. 65 pounds, I think this is gonna be the ticket. There we have it, the lines are aligned again. So I've now found out that my torque specs on this trailer was at 65 pounds. Now I'm going to do this on a few other lugs just to make sure it's consistent all the way around. And once I figure that out, um, I think I've found the answer to my question. You can also look online to see what torque specs could be for your specific trailer. For instance, when I did this for my boat trailer, I knew it was a Shorelander trailer and they did recommend between 85 to 95 pounds. And sure enough, uh, when I did my test here, it worked. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out.